Well, I think that you said it was awesome, and then therefore that's all that mattered. Was I drunk or stoned? Um, you were completely sitting there saying this sounds awesome, and that's it. That was it. I remember you being like, "That sounds awesome," okay. and then that's what we, that's what we went with. All right. Mm -hmm. I had to re-listen to it because I don't have a recollection of what it sounds like. Mm. You know what the secret to life is? Beer. Holy crap, you actually got the answer. That was literally what I was going to say. Well, cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the bar. Welcome to the bar. Yep. Mm -hmm. The secret to the life is most certainly beer. That's it. And it's no more or less than that. Especially it, JR. Because it's yes. the only beer mm. that we can afford. Yes, and it's great. And it's delicious. And it's the people's beer. It's the mm. people's beer. Hashtag sponsor us. <laughs> We're trying so hard. We're trying so hard. We really are putting in some effort into our lives. We're trying to get better at different things. Um, and I think for us, it's it's definitely... It's a lot of uh, learning that uh, we don't know that really kind of stumps us up, I find. But, you know, we're getting better at getting better at wait, getting better wait. at things. It's the kind of learning that we really don't know that stumps us up? What? Mm -hmm. Like when we're trying to learn about things that we don't know, you know what I mean? That's like, and it's like kind of tricky for us. Why would you us. try and learn about something you already know? Because you want to learn more about it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so something completely Something completely different. that you're not even really that interested in. You know what I mean? That's what I find. Well, why would you want to learn about something you're not interested in? Especially as an adult. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you want to know. You were forced to do that as a child. You can choose not to now. <gasps> wow. Well, I choose to watch the Las Vegas Golden Knights, who won their first game in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Sports, sports interaction, sports. So congratulations to them on winning their first big game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Who would have thought that Las Vegas would develop a hockey team that kicks royal ass? Goes on to possibly win the Stanley Cup. Again. I, mean, I don't know. Haven't they won it before? Yeah. Multiple times? Yeah, like 40 times. They haven't even been No. They haven't even been a team for 40 years. I know, I'm just saying. But you're absolutely right that it's pretty cool that Las Vegas develops a team that just literally kicks royal ass. And that's it's pretty awesome. It's because of the goalie, though. Yeah? I would like to see... What it would be like, I can't remember his name. Flurry? No. Oh shit! Well, I'm gonna brain fart. Anyway, I'm gonna brain fart. The house. So we're just gonna call him the house. The house. I, the house. I, <laughs> I would like to see them have someone other than the house in the net. Okay, to see how they do. Yeah. Okay, so when they have the house in there, he's good. But without the house, I feel something. Not, not there. as, not as awesome. That's my theory. Okay, but the house, the house can stop a puck. The house can stop a puck. He doesn't have to move. That's true. Okay. He takes up the whole true. fucking net. Mm -hmm. He's just like, I'm a house. <laughs> Do you think if you're um, the, the hockey team in Vegas, you go to a game and then hit the casino right after, and then you go back to your next game later? Is that like, you think they do that a lot? No, you're probably exhausted. Maybe, maybe. Uh, you're probably taking a nap. Well, it's the Stanley Cup Finals, though. You think you'd be, like, out partying a lot, having a good time, you know, you'd be... That is the biggest mistake be, uh, you could make. You'd be out there at the casino hitting it hard after your first Game 1 win. You're getting getting the party on after your first big win. They could, but then they'll probably lose next time. No way. No hey. way. you got to keep that fire energy going in there. Hey. you got to keep that fire energy. You just won the first game. you got to hit that because you got to stay up till 4 in the morning... Don't sleep and then go to your next game. You got to just keep it going. You <laughs> is that bad hockey advice? That's bad hockey. Is advice. that bad hockey advice? It is. Come on, my tr my trainer, my hockey trainers in the past would approve that message. No, they would just say eat more pasta, and then they would basically say, you know, they were big on big on that, big on. That, that. was a thing. I wonder mm -hmm. is it still a thing? I don't know if it's still a thing. 
It was the thing for a while where, like, no, obviously not, like, crazy amounts to the point where you're eating too much, but pasta used to be, maybe it still is, like, a really good before game, like, well, thing. Well, carb. Yeah. It gives you a lot of energy. And I mean, I think you might get some different viewpoints on that, but I always used to be told that that was, like, a good thing. You go out to, right before you got a sports game, uh, a few hours before for your supper, maybe three hours before or something, you have a nice carb meal, pasta meal, mm. it's supposed to help you while you're out there playing the game. I would see game. that. It would make uh, sense. You know, you're loading up on some carbs or you're, before you go out there and you play a little game. I, would I don't say, know. I've been told it was good. I would say heavy carb. Um, probably like a cup of coffee would be a good idea. A cup of coffee. Okay. Just to kind of get your energy. Maybe yeah. It going gets a little bit your more. blood flowing and stuff. Um, mm. I would say avoid or very little protein beforehand because mm. if you have too much protein, it actually makes you tired. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Fair. Well, there you go then. It's been a long time since I write about nutrition, but that's what I remember. Fair. That's like your memory of the nutritional guide. Yeah. Do you have any pump up the jam songs that uh, you go to that, that pump up the jam for you? If you've got some activity coming up and you want to pump up the jam, aside from the song, pump up War the jam. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> are you Are you singing Britney Spears? Yep. Nice. Work Bitch by Britney Spears. <laughs> yep. It'll fire you up every time. Gotta work, bitch. Because you're like, yeah, I want a Maserati. Yeah, I do. You want a Bugatti? Yeah. You better work, bitch. Okay, all right. And that's I a, fucking believe that. That song gets you fired up. I believe that. That song gets you fired up. And okay. there was a song I okay. listened to today that I never heard before. Fair. That I can't remember the name of really? because I was just listening to a random mix that I'll have to go back. Okay. That would that would also count. But mm. work bitch. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's interesting. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah, 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 for sure. I guess for that's sure. not what you were expecting. No, no. Look at no. that, it could still keep you on your toes. Crazy. Um I I gotta come back with some sort of What were you thinking, um, I was gonna say? I don't know. I didn't really have anything in mind, so that oh, okay. that answer is good. I think I'm gonna come back with. Ball the ball the bang the bang the gee the gee the gee and the boogie set up jump the boogie. Yes. Ball the ball the bang the bang. Side note, just because we were headbanging. That song will get you fired up. That song will get you fired up. Little ball the ball the bang bang the gee the gee. Little kid rock. Up chuck the boogie. Up chuck the boogie. That song. Every time you throw that thing on, you're like, I'm ready to go. I'm ball the ball the bang the gee the gee. Up and chucking the boogie to bang bang the beat. Exactly. That song gets Whatever you going. Whatever the fuck that means. I have no idea, but yes. That song will get you going for sure. <laughs> so, um, I've been on this streak lately. Uh, nice! She's on the streak. Uh, nice! A double uh, whammy. <laughs> a double whammy. She's on fire. I have been on the streak of learning about different types of J fashion. Mmm! Which is Japanese fashion for okay. all out there who don't know that. J fashion. J fashion. Japanese yeah. fashion. So I recently okay. Okay. Um, listened to one about Visual K, mm. which I'm sure you've seen some of the bands before. <sighs> yeah, yeah. They're like sure. yeah. they usually have like really spiky hair, kind of anime looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like really I like dark, some of the yeah chains. yeah. I like some of the visuals, some of the songs and yeah, stuff too so for sure. I like that that vibe. The I like thing that I vibe. thought was interesting. So it's cool. They vibe. that whole they talk about like uh, the music and the fashion and the lifestyle, like kind of all of the things. Mm -hmm. So they were talking about the music at this particular part. Cool. And when you when you go to concerts for visual K bands, uh, it's it's there's a rhythmic headbang. Okay, so you're just like you know how usually you'll you'll see like kids at a metal show or whatever, and they're just like everyone's whipping their head at a different time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at a visual K show. No. Everyone's head at the same time. Exactly. Certain parts of the song, and apparently these bands will release things, mm -hmm. either like YouTube instructional videos or whatever, yeah. to tell people what to do at certain parts of their songs. Oh, so they'll actually put out like a flow thing of like, this is what's happening at this part of the song or yeah, something? Yeah, it's like... 
Do the headbang one more time. <laughs> this is the softest headbang that's ever happened. But that, it's really slow. It's a slow headbang. That's so soft. That's super soft. And I'm like, you know what? With me and my busted spine, okay. at this okay. point in my life, okay. I could do that You head don't bang. want to headbang too hard. I you have, don't want to headbang too hard. I have seriously hard. hurt my neck muscles when I was younger. Fair, right? yeah. I, I mean, you know, there's different levels of headbanging that you can get into for sure, depending Sometimes on... Sometimes you just lose control. That's true. That's true. I mean, hey, you could do a headbang over and, you know, turn it into That's a song. That's where that song came from. Yeah? That is where that song came no from. No way. That's what a headbang over is. No it's, way. That's a headbang It's over. like a... Oh. Amongst Papa Roach fans. Okay, okay. It was something that you would say after your show, like, holy fuck, you got a headbang over. You got a headbang over, over. and that, that's how you that's, guys wrote that song. Yeah, that's where that came from. I didn't even know, like, we made a song based on something. I, I, I don't know if I... Did I write? I, you guys pretty much... I don't think so. I just had some melody influence, but the lyrics yeah. was pretty much... I think much you had pure, a... You, like, you interjected some lyrics. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember doing a little bit on the lyrics, but most... That that one happened came from, really fast. from you guys on that song. Yeah. And the, yeah, and I think there's not that many people that even know the song Headbang Over exists. So, you know. Now I, you know. Now you know. Back in our punk days. We have, our, we have a song that we created called Headbang Over. And, and it if you, badass. If you search for it, you might be able to find it. I don't no. know. We'll let, them, we'll let them see if they can find was it. Was that the first song we wrote as a band? Mm-hmm. It's still Head, my favorite. Headbang Over was one of our first songs that we wrote as a band. Um, and then we had about six other ones in that band too. Uh, and yeah, Headbang Over by El Tazo was the song that we wrote. And that was a great song. It's, you know, it still is a great song. I, I'll throw that one on every now and then. And that, that song gets you fired up too. It does get you fired up. It does. So it's pretty cool to actually write a song like we have that also gets you fired up. And it's cool to know that that comes from something that they said at a punk show. Papa Roach. A, a Papa Roach show. It's head bang over. It's like a fan community thing. Like wording kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like just an carried inside over joke time. almost. Yeah. Like a head bang over from the show. I think like Jacoby, their lead singer, said it yeah, once. Yeah, okay. And it just stuck. Okay, and then that's how we turn that word into like a song too from that moment. That's interesting. That's super interesting. I'm just finding this out like eight to ten years later <laughs> that we wrote a whole song based on a Papa Roach kind of theme. I'm figuring this out right now, and it was our own song. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. But yeah. that, that song is pretty sweet, and that song will definitely get you fired up. Mm-hmm. It will. Absolutely. Yep. You know what won't get you fired up? Fire bands? Fire bands. But they're necessary. Was that where you yeah. were going? Wow. You're, you're like... I'm on fire. Like, I'm, I'm like connecting with your brain here. I'm like, inside of it. I'm like a parasite. I'm like, trying to set things up and I don't even have to. You're like, I already know where I'm going with some things. Smack down. But sometimes they're necessary. I mean, it's right understandable. Now, if it's very our dry... Our entire country is on fire. Yeah, it's very dry here. So, you know, it's, it's understandable to try to get the wildfires that we have going on. And that's never cool. Never cool. So no. it's understandable. You very know. hot, actually. Yeah, it's very... It's actually nice, but it's been very dry. It's been so dry, which is cool. It's like, it's like Vegas up in here almost. But, no. like, not really... But not really. Mm -mm. We don't have tall enough buildings and cool enough flashing lights and stuff like that. It's almost overwhelming. <clears throat> Let me say flashing lights one more time. Okay. Cool enough flashing lights. <laughs> yeah, but it's also Pride Month. It is. And that's cool. That'll get you fired up. Fire uh, bands, nah, necessary, but not. But Pride Month, it'll get you Pride fired month. up. Pride Month, bam. So we haven't been out yet for Pride Month, but we'll probably go out yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I usually go somewhere. We usually for go Pride. to a bar or two once in a while. I for usually Pride keep my month. eyes peeled on like yeah. different events that are happening. The one that mm. they have in the park is mm. really cool. Okay, are they getting a DJ set up or something? I don't know. Okay, they usually have bands. Cool, some bands going on in the park. Yeah, they nice, have bands. nice. That's and sweet. then like they have drag performances. And yeah, like, drag performances are fun. They're good. They are fun. They're good. Yeah, for sure. All the performances like that, good time. I will never forget my first drag show. I don't where think where were you? 
Where were you your uh, first drag show? In Nashville. Hmm. That was my first drag show. Actually, that bar opened my eyes to what the LGBTQ LMNOP. Your first drag show was in Nashville. Yes. Yes, my cool. first drag show was in Nashville. And that, that gay bar, like, really opened my eyes. Because here, um, you don't see as much of the extremes in the community. Yeah, where we are. Yeah, where true, we are. True, 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 yeah. Like, I think we have a strong community here from sure, the people that sure, I know. Sure, sure, yeah, but sure, sure, sure. Not like it was in Nashville. Like, it was pretty, yeah. Which is funny, cool because you would think that would be the opposite. Yeah, yeah. But that was, uh, it was interesting. But that was, like, the first time that I saw a, a man in, in full drag, or a, yeah. whatever. I don't know what they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man in full drag <laughs> go into a woman's yeah. bathroom. Fair, fair, and I, re I remember that bar. It was a good time, and that was. Uh, that was really fun to, Except to just I had be there. Wicked at indigestion that, uh... because we thought it would be a good idea to eat a shit ton of pizza because we were very drunk. Oh, is that that was the same night where we ate like full large pizzas or something like that, and then went there? That was or such something, a bad eh? decision. Was that that was that night? Oh yeah. man, okay, fair. I fair, remember fair. sitting in like. Yeah. That table or whatever, yeah. just being like, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you eat a full large pizza and you plan on drinking a little bit after that, or a lot of it, or whatever, but it we can, had drank a lot it can usually that. hit your stomach a little it bit. It wasn't a good time. Oh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, that's true, because like, we had some pictures before we went to get the pizza, and then I remember we so we grabbed the pizza, and then... Well, we were drinking in our... That's in our place, place. In our place, yeah. And then we went to get the pizza... And then we went to the bar afterwards. Yeah. That's right. That's we right. Were, yeah. That's yeah. true. That's true. Lots of good time. Though. And that was my first drag show. I remember like... Holy crap. Would that be mine too? Probably. Probably. Because Probably. I remember standing with you. Yeah. I'm surprised I remember this. Probably was. Watching this person in like a gown. It was pretty cool. They were all decked yeah, out. Yeah, they were all decked out in this gown, lip sneaking, yeah. and people were just chucking money. And I had. Just bills flying. I didn't know just that flying. happened. Boop, boop, boop. And I, from what I know now, like there's some people <laughs> that don't agree with the whole chucking money fair, and drag fair. things. Thing. Okay, okay, all right. But well, I was it's like, debatable. It's debatable. I, I remember talking with you. I'm like, we should dress you up. <laughs> I mean, hey, the dollar bills are flying. I mean, I might be able to, to get a little dance on. I mean, I don't know. Hey, you would know. look so sure. terrible in drag. I don't know. Yeah, I can't say I've ever, uh, I, can't, well, I mean, I've worn Unless some wigs. Unless you did one of those, like, non-binary drags. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my uh, outfit attire would look like, but I mean, I, eh. This is what it is. I think you would look really bad in a dress. I probably wouldn't know how to pull off very many moves, which would also probably not lead to me uh, doing the best. Because, first of all, my yeah. dancing on a good day is pretty awkward. I can do a few things. I can keep a bit of a rhythm. You know, not bad. Not bad. But, yeah, to, to do some of the moves that they're doing, some of the different things choreography if, if there's anything like that going on I'm, i'd probably have to go solo so then it could just be freestyle and do the whole thing if i had to follow someone else and do some choreography i'd probably just be like what's going on right now my tires like flying i gotta hold on let me do the lights over time let me do the lights okay this is your last time <laughs> here pull my tie i can't look at you okay okay i'll fix the lights i'll fix the lights Da, 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 da. Uh, I can't do choreography. I can't do choreography very well. Nope. Not gonna happen. But okay. if I freestyled it, if I freestyled it, I might be okay. You might be alright. I might be alright. I might be alright. might be okay. Mm -hmm. But it's cool that they're having a lot of things going on here. And yeah, um, yeah we'll probably go check out one probably. or two things. I was gonna do like pride flag makeup today, but I... You went with some beautiful... Normal kind of bluish, purplish tones, bluish, kind of a cooler purple, vibe. Gold, gold vibe. I, you know what's ironic is I. What's didn't, ironic? I didn't know about Vegas, and I actually put gold under my eyes. Did you? Yeah. Vegas, baby. Vegas. The blue had nothing to do with it. It was just a new eyeshadow I had that I hadn't used yet, mm. and I wanted to use it. Yeah, I've had this hat for a while it's actually. A nice hat. Yeah, I just happened to wear it today because of the fact that. They made it into the finals. It is a nice hat. I, I like the Golden Knights logo. 
cool. Um, it's pretty cool, and their team's doing very well. I for just themselves. noticed that the inner part of the helmet is a V. <coughs> huh? The negative space part of the helmet is a V. Oh yeah. Hmm. For Vegas. For Vegas. Yeah. It's a clever little logo right there. What? Clever little logo. All right, Vegas Golden Knights designer, you get a slow clap. Congratulations on making a good design. Good design can be hard to find, but you did good. There's some you shitty logos good. out there. You did good with this, this one. This one done good. You did good, yeah. Vegas Golden Knights. Keep him. Or yeah. her, keep, or keep whoever them. made this they. logo. They did good. There's a lot of crappy logo designs, though. So many crappy logos. I know branding and logo design is hard. I mean, I it do is. a lot of logo designs. I do a lot of design work myself. And it's hard to come up with a good, solid, quality design. Because it has to be simple and readable in an instant. Yep. And it has to represent whatever an entity, you're doing like that an logo entity, for. right? Yeah, yeah, an entity. And together we've come up with a few different ones. And it's funny how you can like something and then, you know, a little bit of time goes by, even a month, and then you kind of like start to get over it. Like yeah. you're not attracted to that logo design as much as you were before. Maybe you want to change it, but you're almost already committed to it. And I think a lot of people might have that when they're starting something and they're trying to create a logo, mm. a visual, a design. Um, you know, my advice for that is to usually make sure that you sit on it for at least a week yeah. before you decide that that's what you're going to go with. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will see something and they won't give themselves a week. That, you know, you can maybe do three or four days, but put it, design it. Tell yourself that, that this is the logo design that I want to go with. Okay, cool, you got it. And then come back in two days, th maybe three. If you can wait a week, I know sometimes you can't wait a week. But if it's a major brand that you want to start, it's a major logo that you want to commit to. My advice to people trying to do it, if you're doing it for the first time, is like you might think that it's really good. But give yourself, put it away. Come back in two or three days and then be like, is this the logo or the design I want to go for my brand? Is this what I want to go for, right? Because after a couple days, you kind of, you kind of clear, you're more clear headed on it. Uh, you're not just, you're kind of like more critical, but if you still love it, then boom, you're good. But I would say the two day gap is good enough. If you can wait a week before confirming like a logo or a design, um, especially if it's going to be a brand that you think you're going to start for a while, mm -hmm. then definitely a week, man. At least give yeah, yourself some time. Yeah, I think we time. learned that the hard way. We learned that the hard way a few times. We made a few things together where we came up with some logos and then we were just like, I love it. And then 24 hours goes by or something and then we didn't give ourselves enough time, right? Yeah. So my advice to the people just maybe making a logo or design for the first time is give yourself that two, three day gap to sit on a design and be kind of like, well, I guess this is the design I'll go with. I really like it. You have to really like it. You know what I mean? If you don't, then change something. And then it could just be something small, yeah. you know, but... But if you're starting a logo, a brand, design for the first time, yeah, do that. That's, I mean, that's just what I've learned from experience with doing design stuff and, you know, making designs for things and whoever needs one is just give yourself a couple days, you know. And then that way you have more of a clear view. And this one, it is a good one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, some some brands and logo designs you just look at and you're just like, ah. Oh. That's not like as catchy or as popping as it could be. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, maybe if you just change one color, mess around with the colors too. A lot of times you might think that, you know, you have the colors just right and you change just one, just one. And it makes it that, that much better. You don't have to redesign the whole thing. Just one color, just a little boop. And then you can change your entire logo for the better. Just, just something that makes more sense. You know what I mean? Mm hmm so I mean yeah I guess that's some random logo design advice I guess I don't know you finished a book today I did finish a book today I finished a book I read Congo by Michael Craig good job she's making me memorize like authors because like I, I just like I read books and I'm, I'm terrible like, with that too 
I'm like, what was the name of the person that wrote but that again? Michael Crichton's one of my favorite authors, so... Mm. Then I do the face palm. So you need to remember Michael Crichton. That was a good book. I really enjoyed that book. Uh, this was my first Michael Crichton book that I've read. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to be reading more of his things. But I enjoyed Congo. It was a good book. Um, a lot of action in it, some twists and turns towards the end, and it had a really good flow, good energy, good vibe, and, um, Congo Bongo gets a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I give Congo Bongo two thumbs up! Way to go, Ken. Yeah, but, uh, the Michael Crichton book Congo is very good, and you're almost done a book. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, vampirism? Vampirism. Is what, is what it's called, mm. I think. Hmm. I forgot the author. I want to say Brian something, but that's not right. I'm thinking of a, a different book. Hmm. Nope. No? Nope. It's not there. Oh, it's a vampire book, though. It's a vampire book. That's what matters. Um, But, like... I think these vampires are different than, like, your standard vampire. Just say the word vampire. Vampire. Ah! Ah! Vampire. Ah! That was pretty fun. But I like that. Yeah, it's like we haven't actually it's funny because I'm almost <laughs> done the book. I'm almost done the book and we vampire. Are, we are just getting <laughs> to the part where they're seeing the vampires. Okay. The vampires. Mmm. Okay, so you're just getting to the part where they're seeing the vampires. Yeah, I think I have like maybe a little over a hundred pages left and like yeah, just seeing oh, the vampires. Shit. That's crazy. That's a up. long way into a book to introduce they bit the vampires. Off some nipples. That's a <laughs> shit. They're going for the nips. We got nipple biting vampires. Oh shit, son. Oh shit. Yep. Oh shit. This poor woman had these suctions on her boobs that pulled her boobs super super taut, and they sucked all the life out of her through her boobs. <laughs> Ouch. And then they ate her nipples. Ouch, man. I didn't Ouch. see it coming. I was like, oh my god. So, I mean, you had to wait a long way into the book to get there, but worth it. Yeah, this worth book it. is really good. It's really, really good. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Because the doctor was like, because she's on like a gurney, but she's not dead because mm -hmm. she's a vampire. Um, and he's like examining the body. Ah! Then, <laughs> I was delayed. I had to get it out of my pocket. And he's like, you know, slowly looking over the body because he's a doctor, right? <laughs> and then he starts looking at the nipples and he's like, oh, the nipples are really dark. And then he's like, wait, they're scabs. And then he realizes <laughs> that they're gone. And I'm like, fuck oh, off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ouch. It was intense. Ouch, sweet Jesus, man. Vampire books are not for the faint of heart. Oh, man. <sighs> But yeah. see, the doctor's dad, or uncle, mm. the doctor's uncle did something really stupid. He let all the vampires out of the cave. Uh-oh. Because they were all, like, barricaded behind mm. this, like, giant fence, essentially. Damn. And he blew it up. Ooh. And almost killed himself in the process. He might die. Oh, no. I don't know yet. Ouch. He's currently... Ouch, ouch, ouch. In... Oof. Almost dead state. How many vampires do you think are in Vegas? Oh, so many vampires in Vegas. Come a lot on. of vampires in Vegas? Tons of vampires in Vegas. So do you think you could just call Vegas like Vampire Vegas? Like Vegas, come for the vampires. Stay for the hockey team. Would that be like a cool slogan? I think slogan? it's more come for the hockey team. Stay, stay for, for the, the vampires. vampires? Okay, okay. Vegas, come for the vampires nightlife. Right? Come for the hockey team. Stay for the vampires. Vegas. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. If Vegas is looking for a new slogan, they could try that. I like it. Well, I mean, the hockey team is kicking ass, and you know that's that's amazing. Good for you know, good for them for kicking that much ass. Yeah. And um, if you want to catch a game, what a great what a great place for an entertaining night and watch some hockey, hit the town, and uh, catch a vampire while you're at it. Sounds like a good time in Vegas. That sounds like something I would enjoy doing. Yeah. Yeah. Catch a game, grab a pizza, and catch a vampire right after. <laughs> I like that. Just don't let it bite you on the way out. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except for the vampires. They'll follow you home. Depends on the vampires. They'll follow you home, man. They'll but follow you home. But a vampire home. can only come into your house if you invite it. Oh! So. But if you find a vampire in Vegas, you might invite it into your home, because I'm sure it might be a cool one. So, yeah. All vampires are cool. Well, I'm going to take that back. Vegas vampires, Vegas vampires are some of the coolest vampires, vampires to exist. Cool. Vegas vampires are the coolest vampires They're like the to sexy exist. vampires. Yeah, if you Vegas vampires are the pinnacle of vampires. Yeah, they're the hottest, most amazing vampires. Vegas vampires. Vegas vampires. Mm -hmm. The vampires of Vegas. That v also sounds like a sports team. V -v -v -v. I don't know what sport, but it sounds like a sports team. Um, it could be a girls lingerie football team. The Vamp Vegas vampires. See, I was gonna go with volleyball. Okay, volleyball, sure. Women's volleyball team. Okay. The Vegas Vampires. Yeah. Women's volleyball team. Okay. Well, that came full circle. Do you have an album of the week? Yeah. Why is it I full just, circle? Because we started with the Las Vegas Oh, Raiders, yeah. And then we came back To so the Vegas Vampires. The Vegas Vampires could be uh, a football team, maybe a volleyball team. Either way, they, they only play at night. They only play yeah, night they games. they only play night games. You can't catch them during the day. No. Nope. Nope. What's um, Bloody Mary? They love Bloody Marys. Ha. Well played. Their team drink is the Bloody Mary. Touche. 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 <laughs> Don't order the Vegas vampires too many Bloody Marys. They'll get you. Maybe that's a good thing, though, because then they'll be all, like, you know, bloated and full. Oh, fun. So okay. Okay. They okay. won't come after you because they'll be satiated. Sat oh. Sa sa satiated. Satiated. There it is. Insatiated. No, satiated. Just satiated. Just satiated. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, well, this is getting weird. This is getting pretty weird. So I guess it's a good time to bring in the album of the week. Just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. We got weird. I'll repeat it. Repeat it. it. it, 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 it. I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm really, really fat, you know I'm fat, I'm fat. Come on, the brown cars. <laughs> I love that song. I love Rocky Road. We got Weird Al Yankovic, the food album, coming in this week for the album of the week. I used to think it was Weird Al Yankovic. Yankovic. You used to say it Yankovic? Yeah. Isn't Weird? it spelled like Yankovic? Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, no, it's not. There's no well, chip there. Oh, yeah. It's just a C. It's just a C. Yankovic. We got Weird Al... It should Al be Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic's The Food oh, okay. Album coming... <laughs> coming in this week with the album of the week. Hells yeah. And this has some great songs on it. I mean, Addicted to Spuds is great. Lasagna's great. Fat. I, all these songs are great. When Spam, I first heard fat, the white I died. stuff. I also died with the white stuff just yeah. because it's New Kids on the Block. Mm. And I love New Kids on the Block. Fair, fair, fair. Not in KOTB. Is that what you were going to tell me about this album? You were going to tell me something on the stairs about the album? And then you said we'll wait oh, for the bar? Yeah. Prior to you, I had never listened to a full Weird Al album. Nice, you just heard some singles. Yeah. And then I introduced you to his plethora of amazing albums. Mm. That is cool. Weird Al, the man, the myth, the legend himself. When I got this album in particular, the Food album, I was a pretty young chap. So I didn't know at the time that these were cover songs. Oh, I didn't know that these songs that Weird Al d did were cover songs. Oh. I thought that this was... Uh, yeah, I didn't find out till a long time later. I'm like, oh, this weird dog guy's like really good with these original tunes, and like, you know. And then I'm like, oh, he's doing like 
the different version parody of the song. And I'm like, it's still awesome, but I didn't know. I was like so young when this, I think I might have been 10 or not. Like, I don't even know, 10 maybe or something like that. Oh, wow. So I'm listening to it and I'm just like, wow, these are like cool. Like, this guy's really funny. And I like, I love this. Like, this is great. And I'm just singing to it. I'm playing it. And then it wasn't until sometime later, like years later, I think is when I got a bit older and I started to connect it more and understand more what was going on that I'm like, oh, I see what's going on now. But when I first got this album and I, I got it as a gift, I think it might have been a Christmas gift from my parents, I believe. And um, they picked me up the Weird Al food album. Great parents, eh? What a great gift. I mean... Thanks, parents, for this great gift. Good you, job, parents. You guys are amazing. This is a great gift. I still have this album, by the way. Thank you, parents, for getting me this one. Um, classic Weird Al food album. And, yeah, I'm like, these are hilarious, but I had no idea they were, like, versions. You know what I mean? And, um, but then I heard the originals, and they connected some stuff, and I was just like, cool, man, cool. But he does such a good job in um, creating these songs, like, the creative no spirit, the creative spirit is just so unique and uh, definitely, you know, they say some people are blessed with different types of gifts, but his way of connecting these songs and writing these words and stuff and just making it happen is so unique. And uh, yeah, shout out to Weird Al and many of his al other albums. I'm glad I was able to introduce you to more of the full albums that he has created over time. But there is definitely some heavy um, creative talent involved in um uh, making this type of amazing song work Jurassic so park is frightening in the dark <laughs> all the dinosaurs are running wild i loved it that's all i remember from that song i haven't listened to it in years that's okay that's okay what is my i gotta go with um da I think Eat It could be my favorite song on the album. Eat It's, eat eat it's good. pretty good. Spam is hilarious. Spam though. is like... Spam is underrated. Yeah. Spam yeah. Is underrated. Spam is underrated on the food album for sure. Because everyone knows Eat It. Right? Yeah, everybody knows Eat It. But I feel like Spam, Spam is a good thing. <laughs> Nutrition Wonder... And, oh, fuck, I haven't heard it in a little while. I forget the words. Spam. And I don't know, it's because, like, okay. Spam. So, Breakfast, dinner, or lunch. My dad, spam. grandfather <laughs> human, was obsessed it's with Spam. It's a great song. Obsessed with Spam. Mm -hmm. Like, we had so many cans of Spam, and it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> and I don't understand why this man was obsessed with Spam. So every That's time so I, I hear that song, I think of his obsession with Spam. Yeah, and there's like a part in the lyrics where he goes like, you don't really want to read the label, and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay, I kind of get that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't want to read the label. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Yeah. yeah, that song is that song is great. It is great. And uh, yeah, man, all of his different, uh, different albums. We played this one in my car quite a bit. We'd throw it on and mm -hmm. uh, cruise around some Weird Al. Mm -hmm. I still toss this thing on from time to time. And uh, Weird Al coming in with the food album, this week's album of the week. Amazing creativity on these albums and composure and ability to make awesome songs. Love it. It's great. I wonder if I can like... No. Unless... No. It won't stay. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So fine. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. What's the weirdest food... That you have ever consumed in your entire life. The donut hot dog. I was going to, speaking again, Papa Roach. I was going to a Papa Roach concert. Um, and I was standing outside in line for a very long time. And the venue was near Chinatown. Mm. And there was a grocery store. And so we're like, okay, we hungry. And so we just kind of was like, <coughs> okay, we'll go get food for all the peeps. And so go into this grocery store and it had the gnarliest food in it I have ever seen in my life. Like weird chicken things hanging from racks. Like it was fucked. But in any event, I ended up walking down this one aisle 
And in this package was a donut wrapped hot dog. A donut wrapped hot dog. A donut wrapped hot dog. <coughs> and I looked at it and I said, that is the most fucked up thing. I'm going to eat it. So I bought it. You grabbed the donut wrapped hot dog. In the sheer moment of, I can't live my life without this. Yep, you and I ate it. You reached for the donut hot dog as you couldn't live your life without it. It was like a fritter, but like wrapped around a hot dog. And now you're talking about it on this day because it was so bizarre and so, so bizarre. weird that you just had to do it. Did I hate it? I didn't hate it. Wow. Mind you, I was also starving. Mm, okay. Um, would I eat it again? No. But I ate it. And it happened, and it was a moment in my life. So the hot dog was, was pre-cooked? Is that what you're saying? You I have, have no idea. Did you have to throw this in the microwave? We like, did, did not, you have to... I don't know if I was supposed to. I, I was standing outside. I don't know. I ate it. So you, I you opened just it, like, and I'm out. You didn't even think that you might have had to cook it or throw it in the microwave? Well, the donut or was covered you were... in icing. It would have melted. Oh, fair. Okay. So... It must have been kind of cooked a little bit. Well, you can eat raw hot dog. You can, but I mean, what the hell, man? Come on, man. There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices. I think the sole purpose of that was to lead you to tell the story today. That's about it. That's crazy, though. Okay. That happened. All yep. right. So you were in a moment, and you had that happen to you. Yep. And it was a moment. That's wild. Don't do it again. Not doing anything. I see what you're doing. You're lighting the. Right. You're, you're doing the light. He's reaching in his pocket for the fucking switch. Anything. I can I see it. So what's your weird food? Get that for oh, you. I'm gonna, just gonna get that for I you. I know, yeah. but this lipstick's gonna come off on your tie, and it's blue, and you don't want that. Whatever. I won't wear this for another twenty years it's after this. Beautiful tie. Look at it. It's like the perfect shade of red. This is the perfect shade of red. It's beautiful. So what's your weird food? My weird food? I know you can't really beat the donut wrap. Holy donut. moly, dude. When you set the bar up here, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I? You put you put the bar up here. But what that's I, what I do. What am I supposed to come in here with? I put now? the bar so high <sighs> that no one can jump over it but me. Jesus. My weird food. My weird food. Yeah. What's your weird food? Oh, man. Well, I have some bizarre ones, but I think the weirdest thing that I've consumed was probably the Dilly Prunes. Oh. That was so bizarre out of everything that I've consumed. I think I blocked that from my memory because it was disgusting. That I don't even fully understand how we got to that. A lot of drugs. And then we ate it. And then we ate it. The Dilly Prunes were definitely... You ate multiple we're definitely the strangest thing. Disgusting. Don't put fucking... So explain the Dilly Prunes. How did we make Dilly Prunes? Those were so bizarre. Like, it that's got to be the weirdest... That's got to be the weirdest thing that I've eaten, ours, I think, okay. ever. If I remember this correctly... Oh. And it was not... It was weird. It wasn't even that good. One of our good. friends, oh. who's a vegan for some reason, brought oh. a bag of prunes over for... A Munchy snack. Snacks. She just wanted a snack. Munchy she brought snacks. her own snacks. And uh, we had dill popcorn seasoning. We had dill popcorn seasoning, yeah. And yeah. this one here gets the bright idea to... I'm always putting things together. Put dill popcorn seasoning and prunes. So dump a shit ton of the dill popcorn seasoning into the bag of prunes oh. and shook it up like this. It was revolting. Oh, Absolutely yeah. revolting. Those two flavors do not mesh. Oh, yeah, it was a little rough. It was bad, but you ate multiple, you and her. Yeah, well, we were hanging out in the garage, and, you know, we had a few drinks and whatever, and we were just having some snacks, so we had the prunes covered in the dill, the dill yeah, shaker. Yeah, but I did too, <laughs> and I didn't eat the bag. Well, we were hungry. We wanted a snack. It was there. Disgusting. It was there. So the, the dilly prunes is definitely probably... One of the weirdest snacks that yeah. I think I have ever consumed. That was a gross one. In my life. I mean, that's got to be up there. If that No, that's gross. definitely the weirdest one. That was really like, gross. If you, don't, if you put prunes in dill shaker, don't do it. Just don't, don't, do it. don't even try it. At least my donut wrapped hot dog was edible. Your donut wrapped hot dog sounds like a thing of glory compared <laughs> to the dilly prunes. Prunes... 
Prunes and dill shaker, man. What? Prunes and dill oh, shaker. That makes my stomach turn. Just but you gotta just it. eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Open up your mouth and eat it. Have a banana. Have a whole bunch. It doesn't matter what you have for lunch. Just eat it. Eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. Don't know why. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the I rest of the lyrics. I haven't listened to it enough to know the lyrics. Put myself on the spot. You did. You did it to yourself, kid. Don't know why you're always such a fussy young man. Don't want no Captain Crunch. Don't want no Raisin Bran. Mm. I love Raisin Bran. <laughs> I remembered a little bit more there. I love cereal. It's my mm. favorite food. Mm, nice. It's nice. a weird thing to have. You love favorite. cereal? You love cereal? I yeah. am a cereal killer. You love cereal? I will kill all the cereals. In my mouth. <laughs> Except for, what are they called? Something puff. My bologna. <laughs> what are those puffs I'm called? I'm just going to be singing Weird Al for the rest of the what night. What are now. the puffs called? Viva puffs? No, Viva puffs are delicious and not cereal. That's not cereal. No. They're, they're like those little puffs. They look like sugar crisp, but uh... there's nothing on them. Like they're just like an airy puff. <sighs> An airy puff. They're an airy puff. An airy puff. And they're mm. a cereal. Anyway, mm. nasty ass. Nasty okay. ass. Okay. They're good as a base, but okay. you have to add shit to I'm it. not sure what you're talking about, what puffs you're talking about. I'm going to have to find out. Are, they, are they just called puffs? Puff cereal? Puffs? No, they're, they're called, called something puff. puff. They're just called puffs? Something puffs. Corn puffs? No, that's pops. <laughs> <laughs> I know corn pops, silly. You're not talking about corn pops? No, I'm not talking. Corn You're pops are good. I love corn pops. Corn pops are delicious. No, it's it's something. Hmm. Fuck now. Puffins? Say... They call puffins? No, those are good too. Those are peanut butter. What the, what the fuck? I don't know. Puff the magic I... dragon. Puff goes the weasel. That's pop also. Mm. Um, Las Vegas golden puffs. It's, it's not gonna happen. The golden puffs. That sounds like fun. Las Vegas golden puffs. If you go to Vegas and you get a golden puff, you never know what's going to happen. Ooh. Whoa, shit. Whoa, shit. I went to Vegas and I did a golden puff. With a vampire. Life, my life changed. I met a vampire in Vegas. We did a golden puff and then we called it a night. Sounds like my night in Vancouver. The golden puff. It's the greatest night ever. Puff the magic dragon lives by the sea. Yeah, Vancouver's a good time. That was a fun Yep. We're moving to Vegas. No, we can't do that. You're a vampire, though. You'd fit right in. I know. You're a vampire. You'd fit right in. I got a hat. You got a hat? I got a hat, man. I got a hat. Mm -hmm. So, we can't move to Vegas because you're you're not a vampire enough? No, it's not that. My... We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. We know health things. Health things are weird. We don't want to talk about it. Sorry, my US friends, but your health care sucks. We don't want to talk about Although it. ours is hitting a shit fan. Uh, right we now. don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. We should have just ended it on Puff the Magic Dragon Puff with the, the Magic Dragon. We, we just we should have just ended it there. We should have just ended it there. The we can roll it back. We can roll it back. Let's roll it back. So he frolics in the Autumnist <laughs> in a land called Honolulu. Um, Puff of Jackie oh. Paper. Love that rascal puff and did something with stealing wax and all that fancy stuff. Well, that's a better way to end it. Stealing Thanks for coming wax. out, everyone, today. Um, we hope, hope you didn't been, have too many seizures. We hope you've been entertained. I'm sorry about the lights. Let me, let me. Wow, I wanted to do a chiller one. Where's the chill one? There we go. That's better. Cool, that's better. I think we, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was fun today. Yeah. I think that was we never really know what we're going to talk about, so it's not like we ever have a plan. I guess that was good enough, right? Yep. Don't eat. My beer is empty. Don't eat dilly prunes and don't eat hot dogs no, that eat, live eat in donuts. Eat the donut covered hot dog because it'll change your life. Um, dilly prunes are yes. Don't eat dilly prunes and eat hot dogs with donuts. Yep. Bye.